my name is Alyssa Hartman and I'm a 7th and 8th grade art teacher at Chief Iskamakahele Middle School. And we do a lot of really fun art projects. One of my favorites is the bird paintings um, where we first study indigenous water, sea, and forest birds of Hawaii. And then each student will choose a different bird to paint a portrait of. And since I'm an art teacher and not a scientist, I had some scientists come in from ARC to talk to the students about um, the birds themselves. And uh, they imitated the calls. They talked about the habitats. And many of these birds are endangered. So um, they talked about what students can do to help preserve these native species. There are a lot of other projects that we do. I'm also a digital art teacher, so um, we do we work on the iPads and we work with a program called Procreate. There's many different projects and many different things you can do with that. You can do regular two-dimensional art. There's a 3D um, program in there too, and you can also do animation. So we really do quite a variety of projects and it's exciting to see what the students come up with and their interpretation of each assignment because each student is different. We also do printmaking, which is lino prints, where they need to, where students need to carve into a block, which is made of some linoleum sort of substance, and then they roll ink onto that block and then print that on paper. So there's a lot of decisions that need to be made as far as their design, the color combination, things like that. There's some really creative students at Chiefus and it, it's really fun to see what they come up with.
Hi, my name is Gita. I'm in seventh grade at Chief Iskamaka Hill Middle School, and I have my art teacher name is Hartman, and we made scratchboard art in art period seven, and it turned out really good. I'd like to thank my art teacher, Ms. Hartman, for making this class possible, and I really appreciate it. My name's Leslie Frazier and I am the sixth grade art teacher at Chief Iskamakahele Middle School. And we have been making a lot of art this year and we're really excited to show it to the community. The first piece that we that you see when you walk in the door is a hanging collaborative structure that's called the Curtain of Positivity. What I did was we had every child make a hand letter word card and they got to choose a positive word. They used their watercolor experience and techniques uh, that they had learned in the past to create a card, and then we strung the cards up together, back to back, to create sort of this curtain of positivity that would float and swing in the breeze. The idea was to give kids a positive message as they, you know, rocked by, and just to kind of, I just felt like having positive words fly around in the air would just help that maintain that kind of an atmosphere at school and as you walked into my classroom, which is where it was hanging. Our collage project this year uh, was a mixed media project. And we started with um, this, these books that I had found. I had seen something online about these books that were about really funny creatures. And you know, kids love animals and they seem to glom onto like certain interesting animals like axolotls and blobfishes. And so these books had those in them as, as, and they were pointed out as like the most ridiculous animals or the most pointless animals because they didn't really have much function in the world. And the kids were tasked with recreating the illustration from the book. And the way we went about that was we started with making painted paper and we took acrylic paint and we used something called a jelly plate as a printing board, but it's actually a spongy material. And the kids used textures and texture plates to create different layers of color on paper. And that paper was then all pulled together and separated out by color. And once the kids had their animal that they wanted to recreate, they were able to kind of go quote unquote shopping for the papers that they needed for the project. The project really focused on color and shape. They had to really look at the shape that it was in the illustration and recreate that shape themselves, drawing it on to the back of this painted paper before cutting it out and assembling it onto the board.
our realistic self-portraits are done in pencil on paper. And for this project, our students start with watching tutorials and modeling by me on how to draw realistic uh, facial features. Uh, we start with the eye and we go uh, to the mouth and to the nose. Um, and slowly the kids build some skills that they didn't have before. We also practice using lots of different types of drawing pencils because they're not used to using um, the different kinds of leads and things that are available to them. So they sort of learn which their favorites are um, just by using them and by practicing with different ones to do different things. Um, what ends up happening with this uh, project that I love so much is that not only do some kids end up with a really realistic um, uh, drawing of themselves from the photograph that I took of them, but they also invariably their personality always comes through. So you always end up with something that's just a little bit different than the actual photograph and you have something of their personality in there. Like your, their portrait may end up being very, very soft well, because they have a very soft personality. Or it may have um, something more animated to it because they actually love to draw animation and they do that all the time. And so it comes through even in their realistic drawing. So it's really interesting to me to see what the final products are on the self-portraits. For our simplified abstract watercolor project, the kids start by looking at three different artists. We look at the work of um, Lauren Harris, Ted Harrison, and Heather Brown. And of those three artists, um, Heather Brown actually lives here on island, and many people are familiar with her work because her work is widely um, seen in many stores and boutiques and galleries all across Kauai and the Hawaiian Islands. Um, she has a very specific style but so do Ted Harrison and uh, Lauren Harris. They all use line and simple, simplified shapes to create their landscape pieces. And often color is a very important um, part of that. So the landscapes that these kids created um, started with a photograph of Kauai, of a beach on Kauai specifically, and they were tasked with using the photograph to then create a simplified drawing. The drawing was then traced over with black glue and then they used watercolor to fill in the details, paying attention to not just color but also value, which is going from lighter to darker. So you find these very vibrant, interesting, uh, place-based art pieces. Mm -hmm. 